Hi guys, it's me Yoshi. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Filthy Frank's Japanese 1 1 Kancho. Let's get into it. Welcome to Japanese 101. The only Japanese 101 course that'll teach you all the bad words that you shouldn't use. Today we cover a word that's been passed down for generations. This word was used in Japan even before the humans inhabited it. Today's word is known as Kancho. Not really. Pronounced exactly the way it's spelled. Kancho. Ka Cho. Now the direct translation for Kancho is enema. Now Kancho is the act of sticking your index fingers and your middle fingers together up another person's ass at an unbelievable speed. And I'm not talking about a playful jab. Do you remember Kakashi actually used the Kancho called Tennengoshi? <laughs> Imagine if Kakashi beat it Madara by Kancho. That would be hilarious. I'm talking about never being able to shit again. Now the formation of the Kancho mm -hmm. is simple. You're basically making finger guns with your index and your middle finger. You then do the same thing with your other finger, and you combine it. Now this gives you the strength of both your left arm and your right arm, and whether you want to keep your thumbs in or True. out is optional. If you want to be more aerodynamic, you can have the thumbs out. I often like to keep the thumbs out, mm -hmm. but when I get real serious, mm -hmm. I tuck them in. Once you have the formation prepared, <laughs> you look for someone that's either bent over or squatting. Though it is yet to be confirmed, some kid with freckles and said that like the direct <laughs> translation in English is uh is referred to mm -hmm. as the shit needle now when you're nah. performing the act of the concho you really don't want to miss mm -hmm. because if you miss one mm -hmm. you're probably going to get the shit kicked out of you because the result of the concho is the person should be on the ground mm -hmm. moaning in pain for at least a couple mm -hmm. hours now it yeah. took me years to perfect the concho and i failed also... many many times but after years of practice mm -hmm. i have become quite a master i've perfected the speed velocity and quite the volume master. for how you're supposed to do it if you want to get really good at it, I suggest you practice on a bag of flour. See if you can pierce it. If you can't, you need more practice. And two, you don't want to miss because if you don't get it right and you don't get the hole, mm -hmm. you're gonna, you're definitely gonna mm -hmm. break your fingers. You gotta get it right on the Pacific Rim. Right. If you don't get it, you're gonna break your fingers. I'm not kidding. Now I'm not even kidding. This is yeah, actually yeah. a commonly used term. It's a very popular defense mechanism used by kids starting in elementary school all the way up to high school. I've even seen people use it in the workplace. Mm -hmm. If you're bending over a table in Japan, you better watch out because those fingers will come flying at you. Now there are different variations no. <laughs> of this word and different ways you could use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For example. This is written in katakana, it's a little bit different. Now you're only gonna wanna use this version uh -huh. when you're yelling it in a bloodthirsty cry. Because everybody needs a war cry. Uh -huh. So at the top here it would be pronounced ka n cho kan cho. But down here uh -huh. it's a little different. Uh -huh. It would be ka n cho. You see? <laughs> ka n cho. You see that? Cho. That's the cho. So all together now you would say <laughs> When you're sticking it up really fast. So there you have it, folks. The real Japanese education. Now don't be shy and you can come back and learn some more words. I'll be here. Matana. Ah. Matana. Ah. He's like saying idiot things. Seriously. I love this guy. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also uh, like my videos. And... See you guys next time. Jannah.